Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new episode of Jojo no Kimo na Boku no Ogen no Kaze, or you can call it Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 5 Golden Wind on episode 13. This episode right here looks really interesting, not too bad. Um, the ending, the ending of the post, the post credit scene, if I have to say so myself, oh dear lord. And maybe next episode there might be a special program, I don't know, it looks like the next episode title was not revealed, it's a special program. So we may not get an episode next week or so, but we'll have to see. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to with that, um, Mirror Man Stan, um, was about to like hit Fugo hard and possibly kill him, but realizes that Abakio and one of it, one of Fugo's, um, companions is on his way to go get the key. And apparently the Mirror Man actually had a mirror right there, um, where the key is at by coincidence or whatever the situation is to fight his opponents, etc., you know? And this is where it gets really tough as, um, he's about to bring Abakio in, but Abakio somehow managed to use his stand to go inside the Mirror World and actually did some damage to Mirror Man stand user. But unfortunately, somehow, he was able to, the Mirror Man was still able to bring in half of Abakio's body into the mirror world and able to like him damage him, able to like him do some major hits on him. And unfortunately, before he could take the key, we see to it that Abakio actually sacrificed his hand whatsoever and tries to deliver the key to like him journal Dro Giovanna. But, but we see to it that the guy, the mirror man says, oh, looks like your companion's very loyal, you know? He even shows a picture of Journal like um, getting the key and he's not leaving the area. He's not even running. He even says, you got some nice loyal companion here. And we see to it that he brings Journal Giovanna in. But we see also see to it that um, that Journal was actually infected with pur purple smoke or Fugo's stand venom inside his body. And he managed to spread it on... Mirror Man when he brought when he tries to bring Journal in and we see to it of course that Journal says I knew you were gonna do this so I infected myself with the poison that's in my body and spread it upon you I heard that it spreads about thirty seconds or something and it kills you and we see to it that the Mirror Man decides to like um what you may call it um decides to sacrifice his hand or whatever part of the virus it has in his body and go outside himself and we see to it that um. Jorno anticipated this and he asks Fugo to like um, get the guy, you know? But Fugo's like, I don't know where he is though, that's the problem. But we see to it that Jorno says, oh, you don't have to worry. He even has a snake or some kind of snake that was turned to a brick to like follow the guy, um, the mirror man. And later on, we see to it that Fugo found the guy and he managed to kill him. Although the mirror man stand user was trying to like uh, make his last, last ditch effort to try to get away because there was a mirror shard next to him, but unfortunately that did not work out so well for him, and later on he is killed by the poison and punches of Fugo's stand, stand, stand ability. And we see to it that Jorno actually saved himself from, by using the snake that he turned to a brick, or half a brick if anything, or part brick, however you want to call it if you watch the episode, you know what I'm talking about. Um, He managed to use the snake's blood or immunity to the poison that Fugo Stan had and he, he injected himself inside his body. And Fugo actually gave his uttermost respect to Jorno for actually risking his life. But Jorno says no, 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 no. <coughs> Excuse me, dang it. We see to it that Jorno says the one who risked his life is Abakio. He actually is in danger right now because he cut off his hand to actually have the key safe, delivered to me, etc, etc, etc. And have things get on, get about, you know, here and there. And we see to it, of course, um, that Abakio was thinking in his mind, man, I would love to beat the living hell out of you, Journal, right here and right now. But unfortunately, my hand's cut off and I can't do it right now. And he just faints out and possibly, nah, actually, he just faints after losing a lot of blood right now. Because, you know, his hand is cut off, obviously, <laughs> in a certain aspect. And we see to it, of course, that the ep that the before the credits, we see to it that the episode ends with the key shown, knowing that they fulfilled their mission. But unfortunately, I think the person that, that was supposed to maybe take the girl home, the one that actually gave the rank of capo to um, Bucciati Bruno, 
he is apparently killed by another person and we see to it that he picks up a paper and sees it all burnt up and ends up smiling and it ends off there. Then preview a next episode or maybe on break is called special program. I don't know what that is but I don't think there will be an episode next week because there is no episode title but we'll have to see. Um, simple episode as usual like um, facing the mirror man he became somewhat of a tough opponent but the combination help of Abakio to Jorno and Fugo together they managed to kill the guy and knock him off the bat but unfortunately the post credit scene shows that that guy um, is going to be a major thorn thorn at their side because they just killed the guy that um that possibly needed to like um give give do the final mission to bring the daughter home but we'll have to see <laughs> and i think it's the guy that who gave the rank capo to like bruno when he gave him the money or treasure whatsoever but yeah, so until then, I will see you guys in my next video. I'm Alpha Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.